Hello. Welcome to Our Life. Um, just want to do a quick little video on a couple of different things. Amy's going to show you a couple little tricks that we've done with the scamp to afford guest privacy if we have anybody camping with us. And a little, a little adjustment to our sleeping pad. And yeah, you'll see those. Plus we... Or we didn't, Amy, she bought a new truck. Um, so we have a different tow vehicle, and I'm gonna show you what we've been using and what the new tow vehicle is. And I don't know, we might talk about a couple other things on here also, but yeah, so enjoy. This is what we've been using. It's a 2012 Captiva Sport. And it's definitely done the trick. It's got a 3,500 pound tow, tow rating and there were times like going up hills or whatever where it felt a little sluggish but she did a great job for us and we I imagine we'll still use it once in a while and this is our new tow vehicle Amy got herself a 2020 Ford Ranger XLT Sport Got a tow rating of 7,500 pounds. More than enough for what we're going to be using it for. It does sit up higher than the Captiva, so we have to get a different hitch set up for it. But we're pretty excited about it. We did have a, one issue one time when we were, went camping at the Apostle Islands on the way back to Minnesota. We went over some pretty bumpy roads and we found out when we got back that the plug-in for the trailer into the tow vehicle fell out and was dragging on, dragging on the ground. So that got pretty chewed up. We're going to have to get that replaced. Um, we've still been using it since then. We've used it a couple times since then, and I've just plugged it in and I held it together with uh, one of those zip ties, which actually worked pretty good. But yeah, I wouldn't really recommend driving with a uh, damaged plug, so we're going to get that replaced. And here's the damaged plug. It still works. I mean, all the connectors are still intact. It just... This side here got pretty chewed down I mean she's pretty flat and the top got a little you know the lip there where it where the cover of the latch clips onto that got pretty well beat up also and we the cord got a little damaged so I just threw some electrical tape on it <sighs> yeah wasn't very happy to see that but like I said we still used it we plugged it in and I just zip tied it and it stayed in place I mean we went back to the Apostle Islands after this for a second time and the plug didn't come out went over the same bumpy roads it's kind of a pain in the butt having to cut the zip tie off each time you get to the campground but it worked it is something we're gonna get replaced though This is Amy. I just wanted to talk about a couple of space saving or one space saving idea that we had. And I kind of stole this from somebody else's YouTube channel. They had a pillow with a zipper on it and they stored all of their bedding in there. So to have a more of an open bench, we used to have some pillows thrown on here and a a lot of junk kind of cluttering over a bench and we wanted to use it more so I found this at a thrift store and I tried to sew a little camper on here but not the best that has a zipper 
So this one, so it can be used as a throw pillow and also space savers. Um, we have all our bedding. So all of our sheets and our blankets are in this. I recently got a sewing machine, so I've been trying to sew things. So over on this side, we have Jackson, who travels with us in his little backpack. Power Rangers. And his little moose pillow pet pal. I, with my wonderful sewing abilities, sewed this giant throw pillow with a zipper on it. And inside of here, we discovered, after trying many, like, foam, egg foam mattresses and no mattress cover, that the most comfortable thing is these dog beds. So we have three dog beds that we got for under 20 bucks at Menards. And so all three of them fit in here. So it's like a big throw pillow, and then at night, and then we also will put our pillows in here uh, when we start traveling. Mm -hmm. So, and that just sticks nicely back in the corner, out of the way. And if we want to lay down, we can use it as a pillow, but um, originally we had all our blankets and stuff stored up here, but that saved a lot of room, and that's that. thought that was a good idea. <laughs> so, another little idea we came up with for when somebody or people stay with us or even when they don't, um, I bought a shower curtain from the thrift store and I hung up uh, hooks in different locations. So I hung up the little 3M hooks. So if somebody's sleeping on the bench or two people are sleeping, I put a hook back here and back here so they could have privacy. I also put a hook right here in case you want to dress, get changed. And one more hook if you're getting dressed or you want to use the restroom. Um, so I put a hook from here and then the shower curtain here. So it's kind of a nice little area for dressing and just a cheap thrift store, non-see-through shower curtain, and a couple of these little 3M hooks strategically placed, and we actually use it a lot when we're camping together, when we're taking turns changing or going potty. Just one other thing on curtains. Um, we didn't like how the curtains that came with it were see-through, so... I found one giant curtain at the thrift store, so the front window and the back window, I cut it up. It already had the holes in here for, um, on the rod, but we just put some of those little Velcro straps on here and rolled it up. It doesn't look the greatest, but I have a sewing machine and I'm going to do some sewing later, but yeah, so it's kind of nice to just roll them up and they're not see-through. And then, since I didn't have enough material, I found a cheap... I found one cheap blackout curtain online and I cut it and sewed it to the back of these two on the side so they're blackout and you can't see through those as well. So that worked pretty easy and pretty cheap and um, oops. that's it. That's my tip for that. <laughs> What's that called? <laughs> I gotta look. Oh, blackout curtains.